Never did I think the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes were ever gonna need a rebuild, but after yesterday's blowout loss against my Titans, I've decided to see if yours truly could actually save the Kansas City Chiefs season. Like, as happy as I am about the Titans beating the Chiefs so bad yesterday, the Titans defense had no business holding the Chiefs to three points. So what I'm saying, I think it's more of a Chiefs problem than it was my Titans defense playing well. So as you see, we picked up where the NFL's left off. The Chiefs are three and four on the year, having to take on the two and five Giants. And since this week is the trade deadline, we're going to do everything possible to bolster this lineup to see if we can take the Chiefs from three and four on the year, save their season, and win themselves a Super Bowl. I have some crazy moves playing that may or may not involve trading away Patrick Mahomes to build the rest of the team but we'll see what ends up happening but hopefully you guys do enjoy if you do make sure to smash a huge thumbs up let me know in the comment section below what team you want to see me rebuild next and whatever team has the most thumbs up in the comment section will be the one that we rebuild next video and also guys make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't because if and only if we do hit a million subscribers by the end of the year we're gonna be doing a massive next gen console giveaway to my subscribers and subscribers only five next gen consoles up for grabs but that's it and only if we do hit a million subscribers by the end of the year so make sure to take that quick millisecond that it does take to click that subscription button if you haven't so you can have yourself a chance to win one of five next gen consoles now first thing what we do need to do is i just simply want to look over the kansas city chiefs roster and i want to see where we do need to spend this time and try to upgrade this team like where is the problem number one it's on defense but then you saw yesterday the chiefs only scored three against the titans so i think for sure we're probably going to try and bolster this offensive line and also we're probably we're gonna try to add a better running back to the mix. I mean, we're gonna have 10 minutes to do all this, but what do we do with Patrick Mahomes? Like, he very well could be bumped down to like a 98, 97, maybe even 96 overall with how he's been playing. Just turning the ball over way too much. I know it's just not his fault, but still, he hasn't been playing his best football. So to improve the betterment of the team, he might actually be somebody we potentially trade away. But there's still so much we can do to this roster. And now, defensively, we gotta get a whole new linebacker core. The defensive line is okay. The secondary definitely could use themselves a better cornerback so there's seriously it's just so much that we can do to upgrade this team but we literally have one season to do it we're already kind of screwed dude because we start the season three and four you guys know what time it is you see that timer in the top left hand corner of your screen we're giving ourselves 10 minutes to fix this team if we can take this team in their current state and fix them in 10 minutes the chiefs better give me a freaking job offer and as with that the timer begins in three two one time to get down to business and let's just go ahead and get it over with. Patrick Mahomes, where are we going to trade you away? My first idea is to none other than the Buffalo Bills. Imagine the Bills with Patrick Mahomes, but still, dude, I want to do this for the betterment of the team. Instead of Mahomes, we're going to trade him away and try to bring in none other than Josh Allen, Tredavious White, and Micah Hyde. That would be three incredible starters just plugged into the Chiefs roster. That defense, just like that, that secondary at least, is going to be locked down. Like, I have no idea, though, if this will be accepted. If it does, though, get accepted, I think this team automatically is a playoff contender with that. Submit it through. It's declined, but barely, just barely. We're going to make this deal get accepted. I mean, all we have to do really is just trade away, I don't know, Byron Pringle or one of these backup tight ends, Jody Fortson. And also, let's try to get some cap off. We'll get some cap off our books here. Let's go with uh, this guy, Joshua Kane Dow. Submit this through. Declined again. Okay, maybe I need a better overall player. We're just kind of wasting time at this point. We don't need to waste time. We're only a minute in. We throw in seventh round draft pick from this year. We have a bunch of them. Submit that through. Still declined. What do you mean? We have to do two seventh round picks? Submit this one through. That one was finally accepted. Done deal. Let's send it to the league office and make it official. Patrick Mahomes has officially been traded to the Buffalo Bills for Josh Allen, Tredavious White, and Micah Hyde. I think that is a pretty big W. Now we've got to focus in on trying to improve the linebacker core. I do want to try to get myself a running back, and I do want to try to get myself another wide receiver, but first and foremost, we've got to fix this defense has been like one of the worst in the NFL. Now the first team I can think of, this is all about speed right now, we have eight minutes to fix this team. I want to try and see if I can get some linebackers off my Tennessee Titans. We also could do some improvement on the offensive line as well. Like who could we really bring in? I wouldn't mind Harold Landry, Bud Dupree's only a 77 rated, so we'll try Harold Landry for the right outside linebacker spot. And for offensive line, I do feel like there's a few guys we could bring in. Roger Saffold, he's actually worth a lot more than what I expected. 
So maybe Roderick Saffel, maybe we bring in a Ben Jones kind of guy, but he is worth quite a bit too. Let's see though. If we can trade away, I wouldn't mind the cap. If we can trade away Frank Clark, because he's worth so much, it might take trading him away too for the betterment of the team. They don't even want Frank Clark. What teams out there actually want Frank Clark? The Bills want him, that's funny, but I don't think there's anybody else that wants from the Bills. Is there really only one team that wants Frank Clark? I mean, I don't blame him. He's worth so much to Texans, but, like, do you even really have anybody that I want? And Brandon Cooks would be cool to add to the roster, but they even have defensive players that could start for us. I mean, anybody is really an improvement from what we have right now. I mean, Jordan Hicks, who, who do they have at defensive end right now? Jordan Jenkins, Whitney Mercilus. I think I'm going to go back to the Buffalo Bills, honestly. Bills. Do we just, like, take your entire team? Cole Beasley? Like, he could be solid out of the roster. I mean, Jerry Hughes could be a replacement immediately for Frank Clark, and we'll still be saving money. And then also, could we bring in a Tremaine Edmonds kind of guy? Or they have Matt Milano kind of guy we could bring in? Outside linebacker? I mean, I don't know if this will be accepted. I have no idea. It's declined, but it's pretty freaking close, dudes. So basically, we're, we're adding the entire Buffalo Bills roster. So if we throw in, like, a third-round selection... Should this be enough to be accepted? It's decline, but we're getting there. We're getting there. It's also, like, let's, let's throw in, like, a fourth-round draft pick from next year. Submit this through. And, bro, we just added Cole Beasley, Josh Allen, Tredavious White, Micah Hyde, Jerry Hughes, and Matthew Milano from the Buffalo Bills for Frank Clark, a third-round pick, a fourth, and, yeah, we had to trade away Patrick Mahomes. But we have already improved our team dramatically. I mean, I feel like Cole Beasley is, like, the perfect wide receiver for the Chiefs right now. But... Now, we, we have the wide receiver number two slot fixed, so really, what do we go after now? We, we do need the rest of the linebacker core, to be fair. We still have a first-round pick to kind of play around with, and it's not the 32nd pick. It's projected as the 18th pick, so we could use that, but the question is, I have to think. We have five minutes to get this done. I mean, we could use another middle linebacker. We need a running back. So is there any team that we could probably trade a first for to bring back a linebacker and a running back in return? Like... Is the Panthers a potential fit with CMC? This would be disgusting. But I don't know if he's hurt, actually. I think I turn injuries off. So, CMC, I get he, he'll be back soon regardless. He's not he's not out for the entire year. So, with CMC, and, like, I, I'm just curious. Like, I don't think this will be accepted. I know we need linebackers, but, like, it's there. I just want to try it. It's declined. Fair play. Fair play. CMC. Is there anybody else? Hassan Reddick would be great. But, like, is a first enough for this deal to be accepted? It's declined, but I think this does actually have some potential. Now, we do have four minutes left. Now, we have a few offensive line positions that we could potentially trade away. You know what we can actually do really quick? Since we have so many offensive linemen that, like, aren't necessarily starting. Like, let's take this guy. Let's also take our Austin Blythe and see if anybody has green interest in any of these guys. I just need one of you to have green interest. Green interest, green interest, there's no green interest. Okay, let's try to get a running back for these two guys. We have plenty of time. 420 left. That's perfect. Now, I mean, Aaron Jones would be nice. They need both of these guys. I just don't know if Aaron Jones would be willing to trade him away. I'll submit it through the decline for sure. Now, the Panthers, CMC. Like, what if this was, like, straight up here? It's declined. I mean, fair play. Fair play for sure. Like, what running back could even help out this roster? Like, somebody that's, like, 90 or a Chris Carson kind of guy? Like, I wouldn't mind that. It's declined, too, though. So, let's just... I'm, like, stressing out, kind of. Let's, let's keep on, let's keep on, let's keep on. Let's go back to Austin. Let's go back to our right guard, Lorit. We, we need to kind of be fast here, though. Linebacker for the Steelers, aside from TJ Watt that we could bring in. Left outside linebacker, that's what he is. Devin Bush, potentially. Maybe, is there anybody else? Joe Hayden, I would maybe even take for depth, but don't we already have a lot of good cornerbacks? See, this is where I start wasting time. Our cornerbacks, yeah, we're, we're good at corner right now. We have a ton of solid cornerbacks. We definitely could use Devin Bush. Let's just try this straight up right here. And it was accepted, okay. I didn't expect that to go through, but it did. Dub, I'll take the dub. I just hate we have to back all the way freaking out, go back in, because the trade center is completely glitched right now. Yeah, he's never going to fix it, I don't think. I've been barking on it for like five years now, and they don't care. All right, let's just calm down. Still have time. Now, what team can we get? Like, I mean, do I go back to the Titans? 
Like, do we get a Roger Saffold kind of guy? Because, I mean, he, he feels like he could be perfect in this Chiefs offense. Roger Saffold, Ben Jones, Nate Davis. Like, do I really just try to get both these guys? We have 2 minutes, 30 seconds left to go. Is there any other team that would be better? Like, we do need a right tackle. A right tackle position actually is the worst in the offensive line. So let's see if there's, like, any, like... 80 rated guy Brian Bulaga is perfect he's perfect I knew it just took me taking a second to, to chill out relax let my hair down Corey Lindsley too would be perfect bro now do they have an outside linebacker Joey Bosa we can't take him uh middle linebacker Kenneth Murray I mean we, we don't really need him to be honest at this point running back Austin Eckler can we make this happen boys is a first round pick enough for this or like can we trade away Laurent he wants it to go. I'm just curious here. I really do think like a second round pick would be enough for this trade to be accepted. We'll still have a minute left to go. A second round pick. Submit this through. Hey, it's declined. I mean, that's fair. Like, first round pick. Do I use this on these guys? I mean, this would be a huge, huge return. Submit this through. It's declined, but it's getting closer, boys. It is getting closer. Like, Jarek McKinnon. Like, I'm just, like, I don't think this would be enough. It got a lot closer. It really did. How about Daryl Williams? You interested in him? Not quite. We have a minute left to go. Let's just use the draft pick and hopefully still be able to add a little bit more. Draft picks. I don't know. A fourth. We'll just give you the fourth. Submit it through. You declined it again, bro. Like, give me a freaking break. Second round pick or th even third from next year. This one should be accepted, right? Oh, my God, dude. Like, come on. Like, give me a freaking break, man. Smith, this one through. Finally, that one was accepted. Our offensive line is about to be absolutely freaking fantastic. We have 58 seconds to go. We have to back all the way out. Do I have time to make one more move? And for what? Like, I, I still do need an outside linebacker of some sort. We need a left in and left outside linebacker. Let's try to get this done. Khalil Mack, like, is this real? Like, can this happen? Like, we're already here. Khalil Mack. Do we have, what draft picks do we have left? We still don't have a first from next year. Submit this one through. It's declined. But if we also add in, what was an offensive lineman? Who was the offensive lineman? Oh, we already traded him away, didn't we? Kyle Long, do you want him by chance? I kind of do. It went down, actually, so that's never a positive. We have 20 seconds to try to bring in Khalil Mack. 20 seconds. We also throw in a second round pick. We have a third from next year. Submit this one through. It was accepted. Let's go, dudes. Can we get Roger Saffold? Can we do it really quick? We have eight seconds. Eight seconds. I don't think we'll be able to get it through. Unless we, like, it's just it's not going to work. It's a fourth round pick. Submit that through. I did, like, see what I'm saying, bro? The stupid game freaking screws me over, bro. You can't even add the fourth round pick to the freaking trade because you have to back all the way out. Dumb game. Dumb game. But at the end of the day, dudes, we literally just did so much to improve this Chiefs roster. Yeah, we traded away Patrick Mahomes, but I think it might be for the better good. If we go in here and just generate best lineup, this might be a 90 rated squad. Submit that through, actually, no. But still, an 85 overall offense, 87 defense, 85 overall team. The additions we made has got to be enough to bring this team from their current state, which is the worst football they've played since Patrick Mahomes has taken over as a starter, to hopefully going from 3-4 and four to making a playoff run and hopefully end this season with us saving their season and lifting that Lombardi trophy. I mean, look at the improvements we added on defense, dude. There's just no way we do not make at least the playoffs. I mean, bro, in the secondary now, we have Micah Hyde. We have Tyron Matthew. We added Tredavious White as well. Added Jerry Hughes on the right side. The rest of the defensive line was okay to keep, but we added Devin Bush, Khalil Mack, and Matt Milano to the linebacker core. This linebacker core is now one of the best in football, dudes. And not to mention, like I said, on the offensive line, we improved Corey Lindsley. We added Brian Bulaga. Kyle Long is going to start for us. Maybe we can add that rookie. Maybe Trey Smith is the guy we need to start here. Maybe that's what we'll do. And look at that. Josh Allen has an upgrade, too. So now he's going to be up to a 90 rated. But Josh Allen now has Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, McCole Hardman, Josh Gordon, Cole Beasley, Demarcus Robinson, Austin Eckler, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire at his disposal with that extremely solid offensive line we've got to and i mean got to make the playoffs like i really don't know how this team is only an 85 overall but boys this is where that dramatic music begins because we have got to have an incredible second half of the season or this is going to be a complete failure we're sipping to the playoffs come on don't be an l don't make me look stupid for trading away Patrick Mahomes. I mean, this has got to be on paper the best team by 
far in the entire NFL. Come on, at least give me, I'll even take a wild card round. We did make the wild card round. Let's go, boys. Nine and eight on the year. Doesn't seem impressive, but look at that, dudes. We actually ended up winning the AFC West. The team's up to an 87 overall, 87 offense, 88 defense. This team, even though they only went nine and eight on the year, we really could be setting ourselves up for another Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl run. Let's go, dudes, already. Big dog. I guess technically we only finished the season six and four, so we really didn't do that great, but hey, we made the playoffs. Rest of the standings across the league, Packers finished with the best record at 15 and two. Way better. Well, I guess the Cowboys, they did go 14 and three. The Browns end up with the first round buy in the AFC. Bills go 12 and five with Patrick Mahomes. Imagine we actually match up with them in the playoffs. We have my Titans went 10 and seven, Rams 10 and seven, Colts squeak in there. As do the Panthers, the Chargers choke and don't make the playoffs. Same thing with the Raiders. Patriots finish seven and 10, 49ers finish seven and 10. Worst record in the NFL ends up going to the Lions at one and 16. Poor Lions. We finished with the fifth best offense in the NFL and defensively, we almost still were dead last. Now 44 year old Tom Brady wins the MVP. Patrick Mahomes comes in second. So at least we didn't trade away the actual MVP. Josh Allen though, finishes in four. Aaron Rodgers in fifth. Derrick Henry in sixth. Baker up there in the top ten as is Joseph Burrow. Coach of the year is going to go to Michael McCarthy. AFC Rookie of the Year goes to Mac Jones. Jamar Chase finishes in fourth. Defense Rookie of the Year, Caleb Farley even though he's hurt in real life for the rest of the year. NFC Defense Rookie of the Year goes to Zayvon Collins and on offense goes to Justin Fields. Now Josh Allen, what a year. 4,500 yards, 40 touchdowns, only nine interceptions, only sacked 17 times. Now running the football, Austin Eckler, what a year. 909 yards, eight touchdowns. Clyde Edwards with some, you know, did some work on the ground too for us. Catching the football, we had three 1,000-yard receivers. Cole Beasley was a huge addition with 1,200 yards. I mean, everybody on offense really did something through the air for us. How about defensively, though? We had Devin Bush lead us in total tackles. At least he was flying around. Most sacks goes to Khalil Mack with 17 and a half. Even got an interception. Jerry Hughes got a ton of sacks. I mean, Devin Bush even got five and a half sacks from the middle linebacker position. Chris Jones did all right. But it's time to begin that dramatic music once again. Let's not do this entire thing and lose game one. I mean, obviously, the Ravens did much better in the regular season. They actually beat us in the regular season. But look at that. We have home field advantage. We have the better overall by five. This has got to be a Josh Allen masterclass. We lost by four.